Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will study about the glass transition temperature. Okay, we will mainly study what is the, what do you mean by glass transition temperature. Okay, just an introduction part of glass transition temperature and it can be represented by Tg. Okay, the letter T and G is in the subscript, small letter that represent the glass transition temperature. Now, if you have the rubber ball, okay, if you have the rubber ball and what you do is you cool this rubber ball okay so you have the rubber ball okay and you need to cool it okay at a certain temperature okay at the certain cold temperature the ball become hard okay hard and it become a brittle okay what happens whenever you cool below certain temperature the rubber ball which is usually uh, uh, you know uh, soft right uh, rubber balls uh, you, you can um, it, uh, it is a uh, flexible in nature but at certain temperature it become hard and brittle okay and it will break into pieces just like a glass ball okay it will breaks if you uh, you know if it if the rubber ball fall on the hard surface then it breaks into pieces just like your glass okay so, this temperature below which the um, material, okay, we know that a rubber ball is made up of a polymer material, correct. So, below certain temperature, the polymer become hard and brittle, okay. Above the temperature, the polymer will be soft and flexible and that temperature we call as a glass transition temperature. Okay, so what is glass transition temperature? It is the temperature, okay, it is the temperature below which, below which polymer is hard and brittle, hard and brittle and above which it is soft and flexible. And that temperature we call as a glass transition temperature. Okay, it is a definition for a glass transition temperature. Now, we call that hard and brittle state as a glassy state. Okay, we call the hard and brittle state of the polymer as a glassy state. Okay, so and above which what we have? We have a flexible state, right? So, which is flexible and soft. We call it as rubbery state. Okay, rubbery state or it is also called as visco elastic elastic state okay so this temperature boundary is there no that is called as tg okay below which it glassy state of the polymer will exist above which the rubbery state of the polymer will exist okay now if you further heat the polymer okay if it is um, the temperature is increasing this way okay temperature okay it is increasing this way means it's a cold condition at which it is a glassy state and as you rise the temperature what happen is that at one particular temperature called tm okay at one particular temperature called as tm melting temperature of the polymer okay it become a fluid Okay, the polymer become a fluid or polymer will melt above this temperature Tm. Okay, below which it will be having rubbery state or elastic state. Okay, above Tm the polymer will melt. Okay, polymer melts and it is called as viscofluid state. Okay, viscofluid state. Okay, so what is Tg? Below this temperature, the polymer will be glassy state and above which it is rubbery state. What is Tm? Tm means what? It is a melting temperature. So, below this, the polymer will be having the soft and elastic state while above this temperature, the polymer will melt and we call that state as a viscofluid state. Okay. This is all about today's video. It, it is just an introduction part I have given for the glass transition temperature. Okay, in the next classes or in the next videos, we will study more about the glass transition temperature like factors affecting it, what are the properties changes whenever glass transition uh, temperature is achieved. 
like that okay we will uh, also study what is the relationship between tg and tm everything in the upcoming videos okay please do watch thank you